All right, what's up, everyone? Back in our video. And I know I'm really late to this topic, but I figured, uh, what the hell? I'll just make this <laughs> iconic Twitch. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Iconic streamer, Pokimane, is leaving Twitch for YouTube. Uh, I know, y'all. I'm pretty late for this. Pretty late, but that's okay. Oh, there's an update on the 31st. Uh, last month, okay. Uh, Pokemon has now confirmed she left Twi uh, Twitch to stream on YouTube. Okay. I didn't know she was already on there. Ah, great. Anyway, one of the most popular streamers on Twitch, Pokemon, announced today that she's leaving the platform. It's not yet clear if she's retiring from content creation altogether or if she's moving from Twitch to another platform. Well, you already, uh, I was already updated and confirmed. Uh, Twitch has been my home for a decade, Pokemon wrote on X, but it's time to say thank you for all the memories and love during my league, Fortnite, and Among Us days. The end of an era. Twitch has been my home for a decade. And there's the tweet. Uh, when Twitch streamers payout data was leaked in 2021, Pokemon, whose real name is I mean, I, I, miss, I sort of remember that happening, happen, happen, God, I cannot talk today, uh, happening, I sort of remember something like that happening, uh, it was the highest earning woman streamer of the platform, as she departs Twitch, she has 9.3 million followers, yeah, but how many of that will actually go and follow her, but then again, that's a lot of simps, from what I've seen, as she departs Twitch, she has 9.3 million followers, making her the 10th most followed user as one of the first women of color. Oh my god. Uh, color to emerge to Twitch stardom in a male dominant gaming culture. Pokemon's influence is palpable. What an incredible journey it's been. Twitch's ex account responded to Pokemon's announcement. We're so proud of everything you've accomplished and what's ahead in the future. You'll always have a home on Twitch, Pokey. That is so cringe. Over the last few years, many top streamers have left Twitch for exclusive deals with other platforms like YouTube or the newer Kick. Kick offers creators 95% of their subscription revenue. Shit, I might as well be over there. <laughs> Where which is a huge upgrade over Twitch's 50-50 baseline split. Streamers in Twitch's Partner Plus program can make a 70-30 split. Which is in a period of dis disarray. The Amazon-owned platform has conducted multiple rounds of layoffs in the last year as it struggles to turn a profit. In 2024 alone, Twitch has laid off 500 employees who made up 35% of the workforce. Yeah. Now, is that more like the HR people? and Or is that more of a, those who don't really, you know, like part-time? Like, I, I don't know the specifics of that i haven't looked into that uh all i know is that when they when they were doing that whole uh the the, the nudity is art thing uh that basically just rushed her into hell and i think this is i think this is haunting them still uh the, the company shut down service in south korea one of the world's largest esports markets and it sold discord and its community over confusing and ever-changing payout structures damn though kick gives creators a better revenue share the grass isn't necessarily greener kick is notoriously lax when it comes to content moderation and has become the new home for some streamers who were banned from twitch one of such streamers is aiden ross who used his kick to live stream porn and platform self-described neo-Nazis. Some streamers have also turned to Kick because it allows gambling content, which Twitch banned last year. Pokemon isn't likely to be taking her talents to Kick, though. In June, she said in a stream that profiting from Kick would compromise from Reynolds' ethics bullshit. Ari, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, and you, and for y'all who've been returning to my videos, y'all know I like to kind of delve into some things. Uh, and I definitely have some articles about her, uh, that expose her morals and ethics, just to put it out. <laughs> just, just to, you know, say the least. 
So spare spare us the BS Pokemon. Perhaps it's just time for Pokemon to take a break from the internet. Recently, some high-profile YouTube creators like Matt Pat and Tom Scott have announced their retirement, sparking discourse about how creators decide when it's time to move on. Without her word, it's hard to know what's next for Pokemon. But her departure from Twitch is a monumental moment from the struggling pla uh, platform. The writing's on the wall. Everyone's leaving. <laughs> it, I mean, what sh what was once supposed to be a gaming a gaming website that you can stream to you stream to and all that has become basically e dot central. I don't. The way I look at it too, I it's it was supposed to be a men's space. I mean, a majority of a majority of the audience in of gaming culture is men. Now, I, I don't mind females being involved in it, but when you have females on there who are body painting or just barely showing their their breast or whatever, and you you already know, dude, that it, it's long left. This it turned from gaming into basically a. Uh, sexualization but bending the rules not breaking them outright oh uh, I think that's it for the article all right so I got that I'm pulling up the next one for you guys just again some background We're talking about her morals and ethics huh I got something for that. I don't know if y'all remember this. Oh, really? You're going to put that behind a sign in process? That's dumb. Pokemon apologizes for transphobic attack helicopter comment. Uh, this is back in 2020. Y'all, I know it's been like four years, but well, I would say three and a half, but let's delve into this, right? Morals and ethics, huh? Twitch streamer. Pokimane has apologized over a transphobic comment made on her Instagram story, which some have said invalidates trans people. Recently, Pokimane has made headlines as the hit as she hit out at the toxicity of fans on social media amidst some TikTok drama, but now it seems as though the shoe is on the other foot. Pokimane quickly received backlash for an Instagram story she posted on September 29th, which was perceived to be transphobic and picked up traction on Instagram and Twitter. The post, which originally was meant to knock the use of the word simp for someone being remotely nice to a girl, actually ended up going the wrong way as she referred to people as male, female, attack helicopter, other, which was swiftly called out as transphobic. Morals and ethics, guys. Remember that. Uh, I guess that's just a post or a tweet from some random user. It's 2020. Attack helicopter ain't effing funny. Twitter user blah 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 says uh, said stop invalidating trans people. After realizing that she had offended people, Pokemon was quick to head over to Instagram again and clarify her point, apologizing for her ignorance and taking responsibility for the mistake. I so clearly missed the mark with this, and I'm really sorry to anyone I've hurt or offended, she said. I don't want to enable transphobic language or behavior, especially within the gaming space. I'll do my best to do better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is stuff from Instagram. The Twitch star continued. Offending and hurting others is never my intention, but that doesn't invalidate people's feelings or frustrations. Hmm. Funny you say that. Really funny you say that. Morals and ethics, and then it's not your attention to offend or hurt others. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll remember that. She then shared a link for people to donate to a homeless black trans woman fund, pro proving that it's something she cares about and trying to help the situation rather than hurt it. I mean, that's good. But why wasn't that already put up before this whole controversy? Hmm, Pokimane, do you really believe that we're stupid? Let, let's be honest. 
Because sometimes it really does seem that way. But I guess I'm just a random guy in the internet and I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. And uh, I'm not someone who has 9.3, what, was it 9.3 thousand uh, followers? Million followers? I don't know. <sighs> All I know is that there's a lot of BS. How about this? How about this? Pokemane targeted by sexist hate rays sparks flood of support. Twitch superstar Pokemane received waves of support from streamers after internet star G Dunn, I never heard of that person, sent fans to harass her on stream. Now, now did this really happen? Did, did this guy really send, or did these just random, you know, these people just randomly decide to go ahead with that? Uh, Twitch megastar Pokemane, well, former Twitch megastar Pokemane. Had to end her stream per, uh, prematurely after she was bombarded with negative comments and a hate rate spurred on by internet star GDM. Unfortunately, her return to Twitch was unsavory after being hit with a two-day ban from the platform for streaming the animated series Avatar The Last Airbender. Wow. Forgot about that one. However, she wasn't prepared to become bombarded with hateful sexist messages by uh, JD's fans. The incident has since seen many calls for Twitch to implement policies and protect female content creators from arbitrary attacks on the platform. Huh. So, why are we implementing uh, stuff like that for male content creators on the Twitch platform? It's almost like they don't care. Anyway, Pokemon Emotional after JD Hate Raid on 12th on Gen... On January 12, 2022, Pokemon cut her Valorant stream short after being hit with a hate raid sparked by fellow streamer JD. The Twitch superstar was visibly distraught by the hate raid and abruptly ended her stream. Uh, there's a video. I didn't know there was a video. But, oh, poor Pokemon. Poor Pokemon. You got hateful comments. Seriously, gross spine. The incident caught the attention of many fellow streamers and content creators who called JD out for his sexist and misogynist behavior towards Pokemon, fellow Twitch streamer, and offline TV member Jeremy, disguised host Wang, uh, commented on the situation by comparing the recent bans both streamers received from Twitch and a subsequent hate receipt. You can't S on me for watching anime. But some people are using this as a reason to be sexist and hateful to her D disguised tweet uh toast said or tweeted. That's him. Oh, okay. Rachel Valkyrie uh also sent her love and support for okay for Pokemon as she commented on the issue of massage in the industry. Unfortunate how a creator whose content revolves harassment, hatred, ultimately gives them the attention or exposure they want at the expense of others. Misogyny in this industry is not new and obviously not okay. Nothing but love and respect for Pokey, plus everybody speaking out against it. Why don't we... You know, it's like someone, It's like a lot of these people come out the woodwork just to defend a woman who obviously doesn't have a good track record with uh, what she said. But then they're quick to call a lot of guys these uh, slanderous titles, and they're and they don't call for putting putting uh, systems in place to protect uh, men from comments that are are overly negative. I, and I like to wager are probably worse. Sean Jack Septicai also spoke out about the incident, showing his support for Pokemon with a positive message in response. In this household, we respect strong, successful women. The amount of harassment they have to go through online for simply existing is crazy, he said. <sighs> Jack Septicai, I never really liked your content, to be honest, bro. I'll be honest. Are you even relevant still? I'll be surprised if you are. 
But I remember back in the 360 days, there were women, female gamers, not a lot of them, but I do remember female gamers during the good old Black Ops 1 days that would uh, actually hold their own when they were being uh, hit on and all that. And they actually came came back, they had some good comebacks. Why, 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 you know, I, hmm. let's get back into the article. Pokemon returned to Twitch on 13th January 2022 with an aptly titled stream. Join in if you love women, or join if you love women, where she briefly updated fans on what she had, what had happened since the hate raid and gave her take on Tyler, oh, Ninja, okay, Ninja, defending uh, JD, JD, has been banned from Twitch for 14 days for harassing Pokimane. Hmm. Okay. The streamer confirmed this on Twitter with some of his followers tweeting free JD in response to his Twitch ban. Okay. Pokimane has received plenty of support from fellow streamer friends and, uh, and other content creators in light of this incident. Uh, simps. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, while Twitch has yet to respond to the incident, it has yet to be determined whether they will be implementing changes to make the platform more welcoming and safe for female streamers on the platform. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they made it. They made it welcoming, all right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Funny how that. Funny how all this just falls in line, right? Like like dominoes. But I want to get to the real meat and potatoes of this. Remember how it was? She doesn't uh, like. She's not intentionally trying to uh, say hurtful things to people, and she has moral and F, uh, moral and ethics, right? This is what this is what the real Pokemon is like, y'all. Get ready. Pokemon partly blames pre prepubescent uh, little boys and Menaspear Red Pull uh Red Pull <laughs> Red Pill Bull at uh BS for ditching Twitch exclusivity. Oh oh so it's the oh it's the male's fault. It's our fault, huh? Okay. Alright. She had a lot to say about Twitch exclusivity deals and more. This was posted uh, on January 31st. So, not too long ago. Oh, Pokimane. Pokimane said today she will stream for the first time on YouTube tomorrow, reconfirming that she has not resigned an exclusivity deal with Twitch and is free to stream wherever she likes now. The popular content creator has streamed exclusively on Twitch for several years, but will begin to test the waters and stream on potentially multiple platforms, starting with YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. And the changes within Twitch's community have something to do with it, according to her. Well, no shit. For the last couple of years, is it just me or, yeah, do you guys also feel like it has regressed a lot? Pokemon said of Twitch's community on a new episode of her podcast. Don't tell anyone with Pokemon. That sounds like a porno. I'll be honest, that sounds like a porno. And especially with the rise of so much Man Spear and Red Pill BS, I feel like that stuff has flourished within the male dominated live streaming sphere of things. Oh, I wonder why. I wonder why, Pokimane. And I mean, I can't be surprised, right? It's the online demographic that skews males the most. So, of course, Man Spear stuff would kind of perform better there. And you guys already know who and what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. sure do. Pokemon went on to say the normalized kind of bigotry and spewing on Twitch from some of the most popular and well-established typically male creators has made it hard for her to exist in the industry and community and watch that S happen and act like it's no big deal. For detractors who would ask her to speak out against someone with dozens of thousands of followers and stands, she said, It's almost like there's no point expressing your opinion to people that you're never going to change anyways. 
eliminating uh, eliminating that a lot of them are prepubescent little boys that need to go through puberty and then they'll figure it out. Uh, I mean, it sounds like you need to read a good book. And I mean nothing that has propaganda in it. Get off the phone, get off the streams, and uh, maybe you will figure something out too. Twitch and streaming in the surrounding communities around that, that is, to me, not the sole re uh, representation of gaming, she said. And that becomes very clear once you go to maybe YouTube and see all these amazing Let's Plays or other live streamers. Or you go to TikTok and you see so much cute, cozy gaming content or other kinds of gaming content. Like, it seems like there's this plethora of people who have similar interests as me, and they're just not all on Twitch. The full episode of Don't Tell Anyone with Pokimane can be found on Spotify and Apple, and is nearly an hour long of her explaining the full reasoning be behind her decision, exclusively, um, exclusivity contracts, and more. No, thank you. I don't want to listen to an hour. I can't. Uh, this, uh, is this part of it? Is this part of the article? Or is this just something, it just jumped into something else? And, but here, but I guess this is relevant because they're talking about Andrew Tate and, um, honestly... Whatever you think of the guy, my opinion is that I don't, I don't, I'm not really into that MGTOW stuff. It's just, there's just way too many. I'm not into it anymore. I used to at one point, but then I started seeing a lot of boss shepherds and they try to sell this, try to sell this dream, this lifestyle where you, they, you see like that one man in, in the hot tub with all these babes around him and like this is the one way you can get all these women and blah 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 instead of actually like trying to be a father figure to 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 these men and and actually help them build their confidence not only just their confidence but also bring up bring their motivation like you're having them be motivated you're because of pussy let's be honest you have you no no man should be motivated because of pussy i'll be honest that's just that's a great way to self-destruct as in aka you might die due to your lust never never risk your life for a woman never unless she's your own unless she's your wife or your girlfriend not not some stranger just no. It should be obvious, but with the rise of all that stuff. Okay, so there's a, a whole other different uh, article. And that's weird how they did that. Anyway. But with the whole rise of uh, what's going on to American men going on these dating sites and going to uh, these other countries only for them to get jumped on, kidnapped, and possibly killed be uh, by, by a group of men posing as women online. Um, they're getting, they're being targeted because a, they don't fit in with the culture and the, as in like them wearing stuff that they shouldn't be wearing like jewelry or, or these expensive clothes or whatever, or two, just being loud, you know, being just, we, we, come on, American, we Americans are notorious for that, but it's like it's like come on man stop thinking of your little head use your <laughs> use your use your main head but anyway i'm getting distracted from the whole article of what the main point is is pokemon is that basically blaming men for uh for her woes on twitch even though twitch themselves are the ones who bring um the problems onto themselves i mean it wasn't too long ago when they did that whole nudity's art uh sh shit I'm just on me. Wow. Pathetic, Pokemon. Really pathetic. Uh if it were, if if it was up to me, I wouldn't even just want to deal with you, honestly. 
of all the stuff that you've done, uh, you are not really a shining example for, for people and you're part of the problem, this society. And it's time that this society, this American society starts cleaning up trash like you. And I don't mean like in a threatening way or anything like that. I mean like, you know, clean up your act type of deal. Actually start promoting some positive stuff. Stop trying to be the victim all the time. All that, all that. I mean, it's tiring, really. Why don't we put a spotlight on those who actually are the backbone of American society? Farmers, firemen, uh, law enforcement. Oh, I, know, I understand you all have some grievances with law enforcement. I totally understand that. There are some bad dudes, but there's bad people all around. You, you, there's one in every, in every circle, regardless of occupation. I'm just so tired of seeing content creators or streamers like like her, regardless of gender. I, I mean, I'm so tired of it. Like, why are we listening to these people? Seriously, why do why why do regular people listen to the, to to these idiots? I get that they they might be entertaining, but that's it, entertainment. They're not there to be your life like a life coach for you or there to help actually help you improve your life. They're just there for entertainment purposes and possibly sell you. So hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Was she the one who? Hold on, guys. I want to see. Was she the one who? Oh yeah, she was the one who did the Pokemon. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. That's so stupid of me. I'm looking. At, I just looked up Pokemon cookies. She is the one who did. Who was selling the cookies and basically blamed her audience for being broke. Okay. Yeah. I, I, that just came to me. Wow. I totally forgot about that until now. So yeah, she's even calling people, you know, broke for not even want to buy her. How, how many? How much was it? Like nearly. Was it nearly twenty dollars, or was it? I can't remember. By the way, that that was dumb. Why it's something she shouldn't be celebrated just because she's leaving a platform to go onto another one just because that platform is being stupid. This person, and I'm showing y'all, shouldn't even be worth your time of day. And I know some of you might argue, well, dear Ronald, you're not my time of day. I get it. I get it. But I'm just saying. I'm not the one calling you broke or children or, you know, I'm just, I'm not doing that. Why? Why do people, there's a reason why I think most of her followers are simps. Because they have no self-respect. That's the only thing I, I, can, I, I can only come up with. Maybe, maybe I, please prove me wrong, but dude. She shouldn't have these all these followers, but yeah, I see good I see good people on 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 these platforms like Twitch and stuff, and who are who actually are talented by the way, and they don't even get that many as her. Why? Why? Is it because is it because she's she's a she's a woman? She's a cute woman. Honestly, I don't even think she's even beautiful. I think she's really. I think. Honestly, I think she's a 5 out of 10. And that's me being generous. Because her uh, attitude goes a long way. And that, you know, that pretty face ain't going to last long. Not at all. And when that starts going downhill, then that her career is going down. I hope, I hope she's smart enough with her money. I don't want anything bad really happen to her. But time will tell. We'll see. I think that's all I got to say about this, y'all. I know I went on a little bit of a tangent. And maybe the and maybe I could work on my build-up. But honestly, screw. Just just screw. Just screw these celebrities, these e-celebs. Just stop listening to them. 
They're there to either sell you stuff or belittle you and, and not really even try to give you, not even trying to provide entertainment for y'all. When they show you your true, when they show you their true colors, believe them the first time. That's all I got to say about this. I'm done. I'll see y'all later. Ciao.